and we were sitting in a crowded, crowded doctor's office, and he's sitting on my lap, and he's being so good, so good. And he's rubbing my face. He's like, Mommy, you've got beautiful eyes. And you could hear everybody going, ah. And he goes, and I like your mustache right there. <laughs> oh. Oh. My 18-year-old is cool, though. He is. We get along pretty good. He creeped me out a little bit because for his 18th birthday, he wanted a car, a job, and a girlfriend. Yeah, the girlfriend thing's what creeped me out. I think I'm a little young to be a grandma. And I've seen some of the hoochies he's brought home. <laughs> he brought home this one girl, and she had the tattoo on her lower back, which I think is extremely cool. But her said, thanks for <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure she's an audition away from a herpes commercial. <laughs> and he wants to go horseback riding, so <laughs> I'm screwed. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> but we have good communication. You've got to have good communication when you're a mom raising, some, you know, boys. You do. He told me, though, that I needed a man in my life. I needed someone to take care of me. I worked too hard. I'm like, no, baby. I'm teaching you the life lesson of independence. You can do anything you want. All you've got to do is put your mind to it. He's like, uh, no, you're teaching me the life lesson of poverty. <laughs> Shut the hell up, eat your spam pizza, and go to bed. <laughs> Enough said. I also have my seven-year-old. He's adorable. I had him in the ladies' room, though, and he was doing his business, and he let out like a little whimper. And I checked him out. He had a little irritation on his mini-me. Good mom, I whip out the trip line about it, slap it on there. You would have thought I murdered the child. He let out a huge scream, followed by, blow <laughs> uh, God, he sounds like his father. 